Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. You know, I was thinking today, I want to get on here and, and make a video about some of the things that you, you can do, or should do, to make your truck a little bit more aggressive, a little bit meaner, if you will. You know, when I got this Tacoma, which, by the way, it's a 2018 TRD Sport, um, I wanted to, to mod it out a little bit. For years, I've wanted a lifted truck, a truck with a little bit more aggressive look to it, a more aggressive stance. And I did a lot of research, um, watched a lot of videos, read a lot of articles, uh, to try to determine just exactly what it was that I was going to do to achieve what I wanted to have when I was done. And the thing that I found is there is tons and tons of stuff out there that you can do. So many options. It can be overwhelming. So I thought I'd make this video and, uh, and let you guys know, at least in my opinion, uh, what you need to do to achieve a, a meaner, more aggressive look on your truck, specifically the Toyota Tacoma. And the first thing, and I think the simplest, are tinted windows. This truck comes, of course, with a tent in the rear windows and then, of course, the rear slider or the rear window area. So all you really have to do is tent the front windows to match. That's assuming, of course, that you don't want an even more aggressive look and go even darker. But I think by just matching the rear windows, you achieve a, a good look, look rather, which is still uh, functional in daily driving. I mean, if you get something that's really, really dark, you're going to have a problem seeing at night. And in addition to uh, making the truck a little more edgy, they... Uh, they do have a practical function, and that, of course, is to block the sun's rays. You know, when you're on the freeway driving or driving, uh, you know, in the evening or even the morning, really, you get a lot of sun glare coming in through the side of those windows, and this really cuts it down. So it has a good practical uh, option as well, and pretty darn cheap. Costs 65 bucks to tent both of the front windows. So for really a little bit of money, really does change the look of this truck. Of course it does go along with the blacked out badging and stuff that I have on it and either taking that off or blacking it out also increases the aggressive look to the truck in my opinion. Now next I would go with uh, different wheels and tires. You know they really do impact the appearance of the truck and for just uh, a bit more money a lot more money uh, than the cost of a tent you can uh, move towards achieving the goal of having a more aggressive looking truck. And you can see here, I went with Nitto Ridge Grapplers um, wrapped around fuel ANSA wheels. And I really like this package. Of course, there are tons of options out there depending on what look you're trying to achieve. But for me, going towards a, again, a more edgy look along with uh, kind of a blacked out theme, uh, I thought these looked really, really good. And I also like the fact that they they stick out on the edges a bit. So you get a little bit, maybe an inch, inch and a half of the tire sticking out on the sides. And again, I think that just lends to the overall aggressive appearance of the truck. Now, to go a step further and to spend even more money, a lift. Um, what I went with was a 3-2 a ready lift, and it's probably one of the cheaper options you can go with uh, as far as a lift on the truck. And I think, again, it really enhances the aggressive appearance or the mean look of this truck. I think that, uh, especially on the Tacoma, and really any truck, a lift is going to, uh, to really improve the appearance. You are going to have a little bit of a trade-off, of course, as far as the way that the truck rides and handles and that kind of thing. It is going to be a little bit different. But look how awesome this truck looks with just a 3-2 lift on it. And I will tell you, the cost of the new tires, wheels, and the lift are about $3,400. So, while it's not cheap, it's certainly not the most you can spend. The sky is probably the limit when you're looking at lifts and wheels and tires. It kind of just depends on what you want but definitely adds to the aggressive look of this truck. Now this next one kind of depends on uh, personal preference, I guess. 
uh, and kind of goes along with the last one that I'll mention, and that is a, a cold air intake. Um, I say it, uh, it kind of depends on personal preference because from my experience with the cold air intake, the only person that's going to know it's there is probably you. And that's only when you lift the hood and, uh, and can see it there. Some people say it makes a big difference when you pair it with an exhaust um, as far as the sound and performance and that kind of thing. Uh, I had one on a Toyota Tacoma. It was a TRD cold air intake. And to be honest, for the money, I think it was close to 500 bucks. Uh, I really didn't notice much of a difference. So if you're looking to dress up areas that really only you can see, like under the hood, cold air intake is probably the way to go. And I will say that, uh, again, there are tons of options. And they range from just a couple $300 on up to really whatever you want to spend. So if it's worth it to you to dress up the inside of the engine bay, go for it. Um, probably not something, though, that most people are going to see, but it does increase at least the aggressive feel that you'll have because you'll know it's there. Going along with that, and the next thing that I'm going to do on my truck is an exhaust. Now, there, of course, once again, are many, many different options that you can choose out there. This, of course, is a V6 motor, so I'm not going to achieve V8 sound out of it, and I know that going in. But I do want something with a, a bit of a more aggressive, grumbly kind of sound, at least as much as, as I can achieve with a V6. So, for me, it's going to be the MBRP, uh, and it is going to be the single outlet. I had toyed with going with a dual outlet, but on the Tacoma, the exhaust uh, exits through the sides of the truck. And unless it's going to exit out the rear, I guess I don't really see a point in spending the extra money for a dual exhaust that you can never see... Uh, all at once. In other words, you can only see one outlet at a time uh, because it exits through the side. And what this is going to give me is a much more aggressive, uh, deeper sound from at least the, uh, the videos and things that I've seen of this exhaust than what I currently have. And that's what I'm going for. I want my Tacoma to have a voice. Um, cost on that's going to be if I recall, somewhere, depending on what style you get, you can get everything blacked out and all that good stuff and spend more money. But somewhere between three and, I think, three and five hundred dollars, something like that. I could be a little bit low there. But that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to do. It is a bolt on. And to add even more satisfaction, it is something that I can do myself. And that's another thing I want to add here. There is some satisfaction and some uh, pride, I guess, when you can do these, uh, these mods yourself. If you can't, then that's okay. You take it in, you have it done, you spend a little bit more money. But there is some satisfaction when you can do these things yourself. And I always try to do that, as you can see, watching some of the other videos on the channel, um, because I enjoy doing it also. So, those, uh, those are the things that... Uh, that I think need to be done to take the Tacoma to the next level, to make this truck look the best that it can and as aggressive as it possibly can. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, give this video a, uh, a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. Let me know what you think. Am I missing anything? And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.